Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today I am going to be making a praline paste. Now this praline paste is going to be made using hazelnuts. There are some recipes out there that also use almonds. And then there's some that use a combination of hazelnuts and almonds. So we're going to start off with hazelnuts. Now these are peeled, or skinned rather, and roasted. To skin the hazelnuts, check out my video linked above. I recently did a video on how to skin them. And then to roast them, you just pop them in the oven, spread out on a parchment sheet on a tray, and roast them at 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. You wanna stir them every five minutes just to make sure they get evenly roasted. In a pot, I'm going to add about a cup of brown sugar. Now I am using my erythritol blend, so it's erythritol with molasses to make it a brown sugar. You can use any light brown sugar if you want to use the real sugar. Then to that I am going to add about two tablespoons of water and then I'm going to let this come to a boil. So once it comes down to a boil I am going to lower it to a simmer and then I'm going to keep stirring this You'll notice the sugar is going to start to dissolve, but you also want to let this simmer until it comes to a rolling boil. See how it's foaming up a bit? Just keep stirring it. And then I'm using a candy thermometer right here. I have a digital one. And once this comes to 350, I am going to remove this from the heat. It's going to take a bit of time, probably about 10 minutes. This temperature is now up to 350, so I am going to remove it from the heat. Then add in those hazelnuts and then mix it till they're thoroughly covered. So guys, very important that the caramel or the sugar water mixture does come to 350 or else it will not caramelize. So I'm gonna mix that in here real well. Then I will spread this out on a parchment sheet on a sheet pan. Make sure it gets nice and covered. Now you want to let this cool. So you can either let it set out for several hours on the counter or you can speed it up by putting it in the refrigerator until it's thoroughly hard like candy. This is hard hardened. I had it in the refrigerator for several hours, nice and firm. So now I'm going to just break this apart into pieces and then toss it into my Vitamix. Now you can use any food processor you want. And then blend it until it is of a paste-like consistency. Guys, this is what it looks like when it's done. Make sure you store it in an airtight container on the counter and then use it whenever you need to fill a pie. Or in my case, I am going to be using these in some cookies. So keep an eye out for that recipe. Be sure to thumb up this video, share it and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.